Obsidium Guyava at growplants.org. Uh, this is also known as yellow guyava, common guyava, there is varieties, uh, apple guyava, so many names for this uh, tree. So this is perennial evergreen, uh, it's a tree. It uh, can grow in uh, from the tropic to the subtropical. Uh, the flowers are not very significant, they look like little guavas. And uh, the fruit can arrive in uh, red, green, yellow, pink, and variety of sizes from 2 to 10 cm. Uh, actually, this is fruit here, uh, a little bit bigger than this even. They are very huge fruits. Uh, this cultivar, a specific one, uh, I highly recommend uh, to grow this. It's very, very strong in flavor. And not everybody can like it. Uh, here we have a saying that uh, guava is very, very uh, unique because some people don't like the smell. They hate it. Some people don't like the f taste. And of course, some people don't like both. You, you have It's like coriander. Or you like it or you don't like it. So there isn't in the middle. Okay, so you plant it in the spring. The major problems are ants and aphids because the ants move the aphids from place to place and the aphids can cover all the tree if it's not treated well on the time. A few varieties of aphids. So you can start from cuttings or seeds or plant. There is no reason not to start from seeds. It's super easy to grow and mostly you get the same as the mother. Uh, of course, buy from uh, a good source. Uh, the yellow uh, flavor are strong, they are strong and uh, much stronger than the red one or the pink. And uh, depend on, again for the cultivar, require average amount of water, full sun, it reduces uh, some uh, species of, uh, of aphids. Okay, so it's bloom from the spring to the summer and some, if the, you have the right condition and some cultivar, can bloom all year round. Uh, fruits, uh, the majority of the fruit will be from uh, the end of the summer to the autumn. And again, some cultivars will be all there and depend again the tropical climate. Uh, major pests are fruit flies and birds. Uh, the fruit fly, it's a headache. You need to take care of it. There is uh, yellow stickers, there is yellow uh, cones that you put material inside. And this is very important to take care of it. Uh, it will take two uh, to four years in order to get some fruits. Uh, after five years, you can get a huge amount of fruits. The size uh, can be from two meter to eight meter. It means six feet to 24 feet, something like this. But I would like that you will know that it's better to keep it small. Now we will talk about the pruning. Uh, pruning uh, in the winter or after the fruits in order to get a huge amount of fruits and you don't get it every year uh, if you don't take care of the tree so if you want to get it every two years you, you should really prune it very very hard um, it's a, if you take care of it and maintains of course you can get a fruits even if you don't prune it it will give you a lot of fruits but if you want to get great fruits that it will be easy to cover with net every two years just to cut, to prune it and then you can cover it with a net and this is the easiest way to harvest because when you have a net you just uh, close a net in the base of the tree and make some scotch there or something that you can open the net and every day you just uh, collect the fruits from the bottom of the net that's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course, like this video. If you have any question, just ask. Hope you enjoy.